create a single sales journey for all prospects and as a result, develop strategies to try and increase our conversion rates across every step of the journey. We want to make sure that we can predict potential issues as early as possible. We're really getting the most we can out of the few developers that we have. We leaned into transformation and it changed our entire buying process to begin with digital technology. We now can see what we have coming from suppliers and it allows us to make the best possible decisions to know that we're going to get product out to the market when it's needed. Hi everyone, I'm Charles Lamana, Corporate Vice President of Business Applications and Platform. I'm excited to be here today to introduce the latest wave of Dynamics 365 and Power Platform capabilities. We know the critical role technology plays in the success of all organizations. The need for agility, resilience, and the ability to adapt quickly to business environments has never been greater. With the upcoming wave of innovation, we have hundreds of new capabilities that will add even more value to your organization. And we are going to give you a preview of some of the biggest features for business apps at Microsoft. And we have an amazing set of demos lined up to show you how you can start getting value from these capabilities today. But before we go into demos, I want to set some context. Companies need to innovate quickly to be resilient so they can keep their production processes going, find new ways to engage their customers, and empower all of their employees. If you look at our customers and who is using our applications within these organizations, it is amazing to see the broad spectrum of users that are benefiting from Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform. There really isn't a standard role for a business app user. It's not just people in IT, in an office, or pro developers. It's everyone. Everyone from the first line worker in a store, to customer support agents, doctors, teachers, and factory workers, all the way up to the CMO, CFO, or CEO. Business apps empower everyone in your organization. This is what we are focused on at Microsoft, creating applications and experiences that add value to the role of every single person in every single organization, making their jobs easier and giving them the ability to be more productive and drive success. Now, if you look across every business in almost every industry, there is a core set of functions and needs. These range from acquiring raw materials, creating a more resilient supply chain, getting more efficiency out of manufacturers processes, connecting employees to collaborate and delivering personalized marketing, selling and support for your products and services. Across the entire landscape of business processes, you need solutions that are designed for the specific function that enables a finance professional to forecast their budget more accurately, help a seller increase their close rate, or get a customer service agent the right information to deliver faster service. And when there is no finished application from Dynamics 365, the Power Platform gives everyone, citizen devs to pro devs, a low code way to quickly create custom solutions for your very specific business needs and get immediate value. We have built Dynamics 365 in the Power Platform to plug into the full power of the Microsoft Cloud. From Azure as the foundation for professional developers to Microsoft 365 as the foundation for your information workers, the Microsoft Cloud is the most complete way to empower your employees and digitally enlighten your business. I want to share an example of a customer that brings this to life. Supply chain continuity is top of mind for every manufacturing business right now. And Daimler Trucks, one of the largest truck manufacturers in the world, is no different. Ensuring its factories are supplied with the parts needed to build trucks is critical to their success. They are using Dynamics 365 in the Microsoft Cloud to drive efficiency in their manufacturing process from sourcing parts all the way to delivering finished trucks to their customers. Let's take a look. Daimler Truck AG is the leading global truck manufacturing and Daimler Trucks North America is the leading truck manufacturer in the US with the brands Western Star and Freightliner and Detroit brand producing our heavy and medium duty engines for the electric truck. We have hundreds of thousands of parts which we are sourcing from suppliers globally. 
customer dealer partners are expecting a certain experience in everything what they do with us and we need to constantly work on improving that and we cannot do that when we're sitting on a landscape which is fragmented what i need to do is i need to use dynamics 365 supply chain insights this will enable me to make the process more efficient end-to-end, -end, reducing downtime, reducing parts shortages. So we are looking into the supply chain and then we know exactly, all right, is there a problem? Because we have a commitment to our customers for delivery of the truck. This end-to-end -end process optimization is not just reducing downtimes, but is also helping us in faster decision-making. Using the data correctly, we could actually achieve a significant automation in certain processes. We have process efficiencies here and we can drive the decision making in a completely different way. Microsoft is innovating very rapid and that's what I'm looking for because this is helping me to drive the company to the next level. I love that story because it shows how digital technology can reach everyone from factory workers so they don't have work stoppages to people sourcing parts from suppliers who may be small businesses in the trucker to ensure that they have a truck to drive daimler is just one example of the over 500,000 companies using dynamics 365 in the power platform to drive their business forward we are proud to have partnered with and supported global brands with our technologies through the pandemic as well as we all get back to the new normal and special thanks to all of our customers that are listening in. Our customers are in the midst of a generational shift in business applications and development, and that is for three reasons. Data, AI, and collaboration. Data is ubiquitous, and it's generated by every part of an organization. Too often, business applications that ingest that data trap that data and only use it for tactical reporting. Data is just an afterthought. We are unlocking data silos so that organizations can leverage all their data across every business process. And where we have data, we can apply AI to make predictions and reimagine business processes with automation and by augmenting people. That last detail is so critical. People are at the heart of each and every company and enabling deeper collaboration across everyone is existential. We need to work together all the time to solve business challenges, whether we're working on a document, spreadsheet, or a presentation, or using business applications to manage our sales opportunities, marketing campaigns, customer support issues, financial forecast, or supply chain disruption. Collaboration is table stakes, and it will make our business processes all the more human. And what is fascinating is that data, AI, and collaboration are all interrelated. We need to bring people and data together, and we need to enrich both with AI. This is the future of business and a journey we are going on with our customers. And one such customer is Heineken. They are using Dynamics 365 in the Power Platform, along with our machine learning capabilities, to understand their customers better, to innovate along with them to meet their needs. Heineken wants to become the best connected brewer. And actually that's based on our history. We have super strong connections with our consumers and we have known them for 157 years. We built a strategy which is called Evergreen. That is how do we keep growing? How do we understand our consumers? Where do we invest? Where do we innovate? You always start with your company strategy and then you look at digital tools. Microsoft has a real understanding of the art of the possible and bring the knowledge of Heineken where we really know what makes customers tick, what the relationship is, what the pain points are, transforming that into actionable uh, insights for our customers to really build a bigger business. We need sales rep for value add activities. For example, now that the owner starts a bar, he's short on cash, how can the company help in a tailored way? You can talk about design, you can inform an outlet owner on pricing. The role of these sales reps are changing because of the digitization. AI, machine learning are absolutely the tools of today. Targeted sales activities or next best action, where's the most value, what should sales reps discuss? And the data will tell us where the, the biggest uplift is coming from. This is a, a machine learning, a data decision, and then step by step in a very organized and intentional process that will create happiness of a customer. Heineken and Microsoft together 
can build something which is super powerful. Mike's was bringing people together. We will add the flavor that over a beer in a bar, we can create real, true and emotional connections with people. Bringing those two elements together is going to be magic. Such a great example of how data, AI and collaboration deliver personalized experiences for Heineken's customers. And this use of data, AI and collaboration is what we are going to show you throughout the launch event today. How global brands across industries are using Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform to be more predictive, productive and to modernize how they work. With this, let me hand it off to Lori Lampkin to show you how we are reimagining the marketing and sales experience. Hey, thanks, Charles. Engaging with customers in today's world is challenging. Every interaction matters. Done right, positive customer experiences can lead to lasting relationships, trust, and loyalty. This became so important during the pandemic as all of our interactions became digital. Now that we are returning to hybrid experiences, communications need to be multifaceted. They need to span everything from generating that initial spark of interest to closing a sale to providing exceptional ongoing service and support. Every relationship and customer interaction needs to be informed and nurtured each step of the way. And our expectations for the kind of experiences we want have increased. As people, we look for connection and meaningful interactions in our relationships, but the way we get those is much different than it was two years ago. Access to vast amounts of data and new technologies has put us as consumers in control. There is a new higher bar for the level of personalization we now expect in every interaction. We expect companies to understand our needs, empathize with us, and offer us a seamless experience when interacting with different parts of the business. For the last few release waves, we've been showing you how you can use Dynamics 365 to deliver superior experiences by understanding your audience, orchestrating AI-powered journeys, and engaging with customers in real time. With the new capabilities launching in April wave, we're taking this to the next level. We enable you to use your data not only to deeply understand each one of your individual customers, but also to predict their intent using new out-of-the-box AI models. Now you can meet their needs, perhaps even before they know it. We empower you to use your creativity to orchestrate any experience you can dream up. Trigger journeys or measure goals from customer data changes across any Dynamics 365 customer data or trigger power automate flows directly from the journey. Now there is truly no limit to the experiences you can design to make customers feel special at every touch point. We give you the flexibility to engage customers in the moments that matter when they want to engage. AI generated suggestions and prescriptive guidance helps with digital and human interactions so you can interact when and how your customers prefer. The end goal is to delight everyone involved who is either creating, experiencing those next level journeys. We want you to delight your employees by bringing the right people, tools, and data together into their flow of work to improve productivity. And ultimately, we want you to delight your customers with magnificent experiences that will grow your business and build lifelong fans. So let's see how this comes to life through the lens of our customer, InvestTech. Look, creating great customer experiences is hard. It was hard before and it's still hard. We want long-term customers and those customers want us to adapt to their needs. At the same time, we want to be just as nimble with our workforce as they can be happy, fulfilled, and ultimately succeed. This doesn't have to be hard. In fact, it's all possible now. InvestTech, provides private banking and wealth investment services for every stage of your life. Whether you're an individual, a business, or an intermediary acting for clients, InvestTech and its global workforce are dedicated to deepening customer relationships to meet evolving demands. But that's not just a slogan or mantra. Leveraging the power of Microsoft, InvestTech has been able to not only meet customer needs, but exceed them. And the value didn't stop with their customers. It extended to their own people as well. Let's jump in and look at how this works. 
People are craving relationships that surpass transactional interactions like opening a savings account. With that in mind, Investec's marketing team are hosting a webinar series named Out of the Ordinary. The goal is to bring in clients to draw on the expertise of internal and external professionals to spark discussions and answer questions. With Dynamics 365 Marketing, Investec's marketing teams can orchestrate real-time customer journeys that engage customers through personalized experiences. Best of all, the marketing team's efforts are shared and enhanced by the sales and service teams at Investec, with all disciplines sharing data on a single platform. Everyone working together as an organization allows Investec to not only foster a community, but also enhance and expand direct relationships with prospects and clients. We will start by identifying the right group of people. The marketing team wants to target high potential clients. Out of the box, AI models and customer insights create segments identifying these clients, saving a lot of time figuring out who is best to talk to now. Based on the requirements set by the event team, the data analysts can figure an out of the box churn model to predict which customers are likely to churn. They then create a segment with a subset of these customers that are UK based private limited companies with a 10 to 250 million pound turnover. This event could be a great initiator to reignite the enthusiasm and partnership leading to more Investec relationships and transactions. As the team is working on building out the campaign for the event, Investec marketing team can design and deliver content through the right channels in the moment of interaction for personalized customer journeys. The team is happy to have this single journey orchestration engine that allows for cross-channel collaboration. The event requires active participation and contr contribution from multiple teams as there are many moving parts. Marketers can collaborate right from the journey canvas using the new embedded Teams chat feature. Dynamics is a collaborative app. Having access to immediate feedback from different points of view nurtures creativity and avoids difficulties caused by lack of transparency. We get more work done together. As customers interact with the journey, the ones with high severity cases are automatically exited from the journey based on real-time updates to the case record within their customer service system. That means this stops those customers from getting drowned with content from marketing at a time of crisis with support. The marketing team is happy to create a simplified journey that allows them to send multiple reminders using a single tile to make sure the prospects respond to the call to the action to register for the event. As the marketing team is working on the post registration email that notifies the customer with event details, they can build out personalized content based on conditions such as calling out details for specific event sessions and varying this for each client type in a single email. Corporate members get a different experience than the rest of the recipients. It's great to see immediate feedback from the sales team. This new built-in integration to Teams Chat makes the entire process transparent and efficient. We can be one unified invest tech to our customers. Focusing back on the journey, once a prospect is registered for the event, the marketing team wants to automatically hand off the list of registered participants to a third party vendor to send out merchandise. This vendor will send out personalized Zebbies, these small zebra toys that represent Investec. Journey orchestration just hooks this up via the new direct link through Power Automate. This direct link makes it very easy for the marketers to take advantage of the integration points directly from the journey. It really helps to break down silos between every customer touch point. Through the Out of the Ordinary webinar, the marketing team has generated many prospects for the sales organization. Let's see how the sales team has made progress with one of them. Over to you, Ryan. Thanks, Lori. As Matt, the relationship manager at Investec, I take pride in providing results for my customers by making connections that are unique and personal to them. A big part of that is being dependent on effective collaboration with the right teammates and easy access to relevant information while I'm engaging with them. 
it's nice not to feel alone throughout the process. The Dynamics 365 sales allows me to have everything I need in one place. Key details about my client, any follow-up activities that need immediate attention, AI suggestions to focus on the highest priorities with the best propensity to close, as well as easy access to additional teammates via the Teams chat. I start my everyday routine by going through my prioritized work list so I can focus on the most urgent and active prospects and opportunities. I just got a real-time notification letting me know that one of my key stakeholders from my manufacturing client has just responded to the email regarding the recent webinar. They've been identified as a warm prospect. This manufacturing client was a great candidate for the event. They've made some significant contributions to our past event. They fit the profile of the customer we're targeting for. And recently, they haven't been responding to my direct calls and emails. So this is great news, as this allows me to have something to connect about in our recent engagement, which just took place. Working capital and treasury sales product has been recommended based on the predictive models that run in the background, as they've been engaging with content shared to them via the webinar. Based on their interests, my newly developed prescriptive guidance suggests that I schedule a meeting to pitch the product to them. I love that I didn't have to spend hours researching and feel confident qualifying them to an opportunity. As I'm working towards closing this opportunity and gearing up for the upcoming presentation, I understand the value of having the right team members involved to help influence a deal based on their own personal relationships and past deal experience. I'm excited to build my A-team by taking advantage of AI suggestions from Exchange. I can now start a group Teams chat with the recommended team members to get a better understanding of the client so we create a valuable presentation. We were able to successfully gather the important files and key talking points needed for this upcoming presentation. Now it's time for the pitch meeting. My team and I feel well prepared. As we engage in this Teams meeting, the most important thing for me as a seller is to have everything I need in one place. As our clients join the call, I can immediately see key details about the opportunity. As I'm presenting, intelligence embedded within Teams takes care of documenting the call transcription, any follow-up activities, while analyzing the sentiment expressed during the meeting. This way, I can focus on the presentation and actively engage in the conversation without worrying about missing out on anything. The meeting went well, with a lot of insightful conversations and well-defined next steps. My team is happy with the results. We can analyze the, the meeting details post-call to finalize our next steps. We have the entire call script along with the call highlights and summary that we can look through as we plan out our next steps. I enjoy the ease of collaboration with my team as we discuss the call details and assign our follow-up activities. As I'm getting ready to pack up for the day, I receive an incoming call from our main contact we've been working with at the manufacturing client. He mentions that they feel well taken care of by our team, having all their questions answered, concerns converted to follow-up activities, as well as the learnings and networking provided to them from the Out of the Ordinary webinar. They are satisfied with our partnership and happy to move on to the next stage with us. My team and I are overjoyed by the results as this has been a massive group effort. With the power to easily collaborate across teams and platforms via Microsoft Customer Experience Platform, our productivity as well as our morale has improved tremendously. With that being said, thank you and back to you, Lori. Thanks, Ryan. You just saw what we are doing across Dynamics 365 to transform end-to-end -end customer experiences. But this is just a small piece of what we are delivering with the April Wave. We have hundreds of new features coming across Dynamics 365 apps beyond what you just saw. I'd like to hand over to Jeff and Tom, who will continue to show us how we can improve customer experiences, this time through the lens of customer service. Thank you, Lori. As we just heard, customer expectations continue to increase. And with more choices than ever before, even one bad customer service experience can drive a customer to switch brands. That's why transforming the contact center to enable the delivery of consistent, personalized, and predictive experiences over all channels of engagement has never been more critical. 
to help our customers accelerate their ability to exceed those rising expectations, you'll see we're continuing to enhance our all-in-one digital contact center solution that is data-driven and AI-infused with Dynamics 365 customer service. As individual companies, both Microsoft and Nuance, have invested heavily in enhancing the contact center experience, and we're incredibly excited to now be one organization, together delivering on our shared vision to transform contact centers across industries. Nuance has a proven track record of delivering powerful AI-driven contact center solutions that are deployed worldwide, spanning industries. In fact, 85% of the Fortune 100 including companies like Best Buy, JP Morgan Chase, and Humana use Nuance's best of breed conversational AI and security AI capabilities to support more efficient customer experiences and accelerate business outcomes. Nuance's intent recognition delivers accuracy of 90%, driving higher levels of self-service resolution as well as lower handle times. With over 600 million biometric prints enrolled, and more than 8 billion transactions processed every year, we're able to deliver a 99% biometric authentication success rate. In other words, we can tell who you are by your voice alone, which not only streamlines that common step for customers, but also frees up agents to focus on delivering outstanding service. And with 90% and higher detection of attempted fraud, we are able to prevent more than 2 billion in fraud losses every year. As we look at the areas of innovation for Dynamics 365 customer service for the April wave, you'll see we're already hard at work ensuring Nuance capabilities work seamlessly with our all-in-one digital contact center. This brings a fully integrated end-to-end -end solution that includes all channels of engagement, case management, agent desktop, and much more, together with Nuance's market-leading AI, and all delivered on the Microsoft Cloud. And we're also excited to be releasing a whole host of other capabilities focused on the areas of enhanced productivity, collaboration, and service optimization. To see some of these capabilities in action, I'll turn it over to Tom to show them off through the lens of one of our customers, HP. Tom? Thank you, Jeff. HP's vision is to create technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, every person, every organization, and every community around the globe. HP and Microsoft are Alliance's partners, and we embrace using leading technologies to improve the customer experience. Let's take a look at some of the capabilities releasing in the April wave through the lens of HP and how consumer, support agent, and internal experts all benefit. Let's look at Tim, an HP customer. Tim runs a local bakery and purchased an HP DeskJet printer almost three months ago for printing menus and signage, and has a trial of HP Instant Ink. Recently, Tim noticed that he's printing more than what his trial comes with. Since his trial offer is almost up, he wants to increase his monthly plan to 300 pages. While Tim could purchase this on the website, he prefers using voice, so he calls HP and is connected to a virtual agent. Let's see it in action. Hi, Tim. I am your virtual support agent. Thank you for calling HP Support today. Are you calling about your HP DeskJet 2755E printer? Yes, I am. I'm happy to help. What do you need? I'd like to upgrade my plan to 300 pages. We've authenticated you through your voice. Please confirm that you would like to activate an Instant Ink subscription for 300 pages. Confirmed. Thank you. I have updated your subscription. Your confirmation number will be sent to you via email. Can I help you with anything else? Actually, yes. I'd like to chat with someone about extending my warranty options. Great. I'm happy to help you. Let me transfer you to an HP agent who can help you with this request. If we take a pause for a second, let's think about the conversation that just happened. It was driven by an AI-powered virtual agent with predictive intent that knows what the customer is calling about. Seamless authentication combined with biometric fraud detection makes the interaction frictionless for the customer and also secure. All of this is available on every channel and is powered by Nuance with brand new integrations to Dynamics 365. Let's get back to our customer, Tim. Based on his request for help with the warranty, Unified Routing connects Tim with the best available agent, Kristen. Kristen is a Tier 1 support agent at HP who can handle warranty extensions. Through Nuance capabilities, Tim's intent, 
language, and even the fact that he previously gave Kristen a high satisfaction rating in another call, all result in this being a deliberate match. Kristen uses the inbox view in Dynamics 365 customer service to manage her work effectively every day. This experience allows her to focus on cases in the best order and provides her all she needs to know, including customer details, knowledge articles, agent scripts, and more. When the call comes in from Tim, she accepts it and is connected. With Dynamics 365 customer service and Nuance working together, Kristen is better armed than ever before with relevant insights about the conversation. The customer journey across all previous channels of engagement are there for Kristen to see. Nuance's natural language understanding can pick out and highlight any issues it thinks that Kristen should know about. In this case, Kristen simply sees a green light, indicating nothing out of the ordinary. She can also see that Tim has already been authenticated by the IVR and can skip manual verification. Based on the conversation so far, Smart Assist proactively offers suggestions to Kristen, putting answers right at her fingertips. After some conversation, Tim has now asked a very particular question about warranty transfers, and Kristen needs to pull in a warranty technical expert to provide some quick input. As a key part of our all-in-one contact center solution, Kristen can access real-time collaboration capabilities right from the same experience she's using with a single click. Brand new embedded teams collaboration in Dynamics 365 customer service helps unlock the knowledge from across the organization to provide next level customer service for Tim. Kristen can use this collaboration interface to quickly find available technical experts to help. These experts are recommended by AI based on various factors, such as having closed similar previous cases. New AI capabilities automatically summarize the conversation into an easy to understand outline. This takes an unstructured conversation and puts it into a structured format, saving everyone time. If needed, Kristen can make changes to the summary as she sees fit. The expert quickly gets up to speed via the conversation summary and works together with Kristen to answer the question. Kristen can relay that answer easily since it's in the same agent experience. Tim is happy with the quick help and the fact that he didn't have to wait for a follow-up and the call is resolved. Our all-in-one contact center solution provides exactly the right capabilities to help customers quickly. As Kristen finishes the prior call with Tim, she turns back to her inbox and picks up the next case. Here, the customer is asking about HP's toner cartridge recycling program and if they can recycle a very specialized cartridge. This question is nuanced and Kristen needs help from a few individuals. Collaboration in an organization has different modes and isn't one size fits all. In the April wave, we're also introducing brand new customer support swarming, which allows agents to bring in skilled experts from across the organization in an automated and efficient way, right in the context of each case. In this case, Kristen can start a swarm with a single click. This allows her to create a quick summary of the issue and the system suggests potential skills that would be helpful. The best people from across the organization are matched according to the skills identified and a notification sent to them requesting their help. When the experts agree to join, they're automatically brought together. The swarming experience provides a unique, contextual, and dedicated environment for the team to work in. This is a full, collaborative experience, including the ability to share files, images, videos, and more. This makes it an extremely efficient way to work together, and they can resolve the issue collaboratively. We're bringing together the know-how from across the organization to solve the most complex cases and provide the best customer experience with our all-in-one contact center solution. What we just saw was the perspective of Kristen, the agent, working in Dynamics 365 customer service and experiencing swarming. Let's look at the point of view of someone collaborating with the agent, and swarming is equally as seamless for them. As an expert, I spend my time working within teams all day. When a request comes in for my expertise, I'm able to accept it and join the swarm immediately without leaving teams. I've got access to the same rich information that the agent sees, such as the case details and the customer insights.
This allows me to have all the information I need and provide my best input to the team. Customer service is a team sport, and swarming allows us to solve our customers' complex issues as quickly and effectively as possible. Through the lens of HP, we saw how new capabilities in the April wave makes customer service a team sport, with everyone working together to provide fantastic customer experiences. Thank you, and Jeff, back to you. Thank you, Tom. Everything you saw in that demo was delivered entirely through Microsoft capabilities. You saw how we're bringing together nuance and dynamics to allow organizations to deliver even more personalized and predictive service. Nuance's voice authentication means that we can seamlessly recognize customers from their voice alone. And the advanced conversational AI makes for natural and intuitive self-service experiences. We saw how seamless it was for the customer to transition from self-service to assisted service with their intent and all the relevant context flowing to find the best skilled agent for the customer. And delivering great customer service is a team sport. So collaboration is another core theme that you saw in the demo. With embedded Teams collaboration and swarming, agents can go outside the boundaries of the contact center to find the right expertise in the organization to resolve issues quickly. And AI is infused throughout, recommending the right experts and providing them automatic conversation summaries so they can get up to speed quickly. And best of all, collaborators can stay in Microsoft Teams and see all the relevant data they need to help the customer. You saw a few other new features from our April release, and there are a lot more coming that enhance the all-in-one solution, helping our customers unlock the contact center of the future. Thank you, and now over to Ray. Thanks, Jeff. Supply chains are the nervous system of many organizations. They are complex, rely heavily on a constant flow of accurate and timely information, and they span the breadth of how we design, plan, produce, fulfill, ship, and operate our products. Historically, though, supply chains have been seen as cost centers, made up of manual steps within legacy systems that are siloed, rigid, and costly to maintain. Most organizations have struggled to justify a digital transformation in this area with a, if it ain't broken, why fix it thought process. In the last two years, however, the world has been exposed to the fragility of our supply chains. It has fundamentally transformed how the market views them. As issues arise and blockages occur, businesses recognize the need for end-to-end -end visibility and the ability to adapt across these siloed systems. What's more, they're realizing that supply chains can be a big differentiator, driving top-line growth and enabling them to build a better brand. At their very core, supply chains are a data problem. Customers need to unlock data and insights from multiple sources and then orchestrate, automate, anticipate and react better across the full network of their suppliers. This is a tectonic shift across the entire supply chain network. It's clear to Microsoft that our customers simply don't have the time to go on a full transformation journey. They need a composable approach to solve these immediate challenges. So to support you, our customers, we've created Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. This is not a rip and replace solution. Instead, it's a solution designed to surround your existing investments in ERP and legacy solutions. Whether you're using our own Dynamics 365 ERP or something third party, Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management works effortlessly alongside it. It's incredibly easy to adopt and means you can immediately unlock capabilities and insights and quickly overcome challenges. The capabilities are turnkey and can be introduced individually or in tandem. The key to success of Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management is our extensible platform. Every capability in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management is underpinned by a common data model. We also place a great emphasis on AI and analytics. Furthermore, with teams embedded directly in the workflow, internals and stakeholders can easily communicate with each other in the moment of impact. This is the supply chain solution that the market is demanding right now. We're also focusing on key partnerships that extend our offering. 
So I'm excited to share with you today an incredible example of this, our partnership with FedEx. FedEx and Microsoft share a vision for reimagining commerce experiences for businesses so they can offer their consumers more integrated ways to shop and faster, more efficient deliveries across the globe. Together, FedEx and Microsoft are using AI and machine learning to extrapolate new insights from the 17 million packages that pass through the FedEx network each day, ultimately to help brands deliver more improved customer experiences. Today, Lydia is going to show an example of our most recent supply chain management investments, including this exciting FedEx integration, through the lens of our customer, FOCO. Over to you, Lydia. Thanks, Ray. Before the global pandemic, did you ever give any thought to supply chain? When you ordered a product, did you think, hmm, it says it'll be here in March, but maybe it won't actually arrive until August, or maybe it won't turn up at all? The fact that we're even thinking about supply chain demonstrates how much of a global problem it has become in the past two years. Supply chain used to be something that just existed in the background the customers had no awareness of, something we took for granted. Not anymore. COVID-19 and the ongoing impacts on supply chain are massive. Not only are businesses having to deal with a complete shutdown of factories producing parts, they're also facing major shipping issues, new federal regulations, losing large portions of their workforce, and for the first time, customers who are hyper aware of these challenges and now expect an accurate prediction of exactly what day and time a product will arrive in order to place that order. What would a world look like where all of these problems went away? Today, I'm going to share with you a really wonderful success story. FOCO is an incredibly successful retailer and manufacturer of sports and entertainment merchandise. For 20 years, they've held relationships with over 700 sports and entertainment brands. On their site, you'll find products from the NFL, the NBA, 60 different English football clubs, Disney, DC Comics, the list goes on. We're going to see how FOCO is not only overcoming supply chain problems, but actually taking the opportunity to turn supply chain from a cost center into a way to differentiate and deliver an awesome, reliable customer experience. Let's see how this works. I'm FOCO's merchandise buyer. Today, I'm placing a rather large order of hats from my manufacturer. These will ultimately be sold to consumers all over the country. One of my top priorities in this time is to make sure that this order is completed on time to meet predicted demand. There are a whole host of factors that can impact when this order arrives at my warehouse. Weather patterns, issues at port, part availability. Historically, I had no concrete way to predict or track any potential issues without a large amount of effort on my part. Now, with Supply Chain Insights, this is far easier. It was incredibly easy to get this connected to my existing ERP solutions without needing to replace them. And I can now easily understand exactly when an order is expected to make it to my warehouse. At the first sign of trouble, AI detects an anomaly and lets me know that there will be a four-week delay in shipment of the order from my manufacturer to me. This is going to cause a serious delay and means products will not be available to ship to customers. I immediately explore alternative options and choose the suggestion to select a different manufacturer from my list of approved manufacturers. This means the orders will be produced on time and we can still meet customer demand. The decision to switch from one manufacturer to another isn't a small one. Usually, this collaboration and plan adjustment happens in a mess of different places, over email, in Word documents, on memos, not ideal. Instead, using embedded Teams collaboration capabilities, we can all work from the same hub. We can communicate with the new manufacturer and easily share required information in one place, get agreement, and make sure that these products are delivered to our warehouse in time to meet my delivery deadlines. We're back on track. Fast forward six weeks and, potential disaster avoided, the products have arrived at my distribution center. Businesses like FOCO sell through a multitude of channels, and here our order manager can see a centralized view of all of the orders. 
For our order manager, insights are crucial to ensure we can meet the delivery commitment we made to the customer. Where inventory and orders are typically tracked in separate solutions, using intelligent order management, we can see a clear combined view that helps us to understand exactly where inventory is and where it needs to go. We take that even further thanks to the newly released Microsoft FedEx integration. This gives FOCO access to a whole host of capabilities. They can offer two-day delivery with FedEx, have access to live information about the capacity across their fleets, and intelligent delivery dates are instantly calculated using AI from FedEx. With this clear understanding of when an order must be delivered by, and the most cost and time effective way to deliver each order, we can confirm delivery choices for all orders, confidently share an order progress update with every consumer via text or their preferred channel, and get them on the road. With our orders delivered on time, it's time for consumers to try the products. It's not uncommon for customers to purchase multiple items and then keep the one they love the most. Providing a seamless returns experience is a crucial part of delivering an amazing brand experience. FOCO used the new order management returns app, which plugs into their existing e-commerce solution. It provides consumers with a really simple guided self-service returns experience. The experience captures just enough information to drive the business process and coordinate a refund or exchange, requiring minimum effort from the consumer. They head to a drop-off location of their choice, present a simple QR code, drop off their items without the need to box them up, and the return is complete. This is such a simple and positive experience for the consumer. The final step for FOCO is very simple. Multiple unbox returns from multiple drop-off locations are tracked, and FOCO can coordinate a simple consolidated return to the warehouse. Furthermore, FOCO has access to clear insights to let them know how efficient their operations are throughout the delivery and returns process so that they can identify ways to work more effectively. We've seen today how FOCO is able to triumph in times of great supply chain challenge. They're able to transform their end-to-end -end journey using Dynamics 365 supply chain management alongside their existing ERP deployments. They can predict delays, effortlessly deploy a plan that avoids or minimizes those delays, and then coordinate an on-time, cost-effective delivery to the consumer. And importantly, the consumers have the visibility and understanding that they're craving. In times when consumers are struggling with their relationships with brands, they can be confident that FOCO is a retailer that they can rely on. This was all made possible thanks to Dynamics 365. Back to you, Ray. Thanks, Lydia. It's so exciting to share the incredible investments we're making in supply chain, and especially around intelligent order management. In a time when our customers are calling for turnkey solutions that transform the supply chain experience, it's an absolute game changer. And with that, I'll hand over to Charles. Thanks, Ray. One of the areas that I'm really excited about is how we are working to bring people together with the physical and digital world. This is the next frontier of business process transformation. If you look at what we have done with digital automation and digital applications on a PC or a mobile device, we are just bringing that same level of innovation to physical spaces. The ability to connect the physical and digital opens up new ways for companies to optimize how they lay out their factories, provide assistance to their field service workers in every corner of the planet, and use insights from product usage to enable subscription-based billing models, all ultimately enabling better experiences for their customers and employees. The next scenario we are going to show you is from Marks & Spencer, a leading international retailer based in the UK who is using connected spaces to understand traffic and customer behavior within its stores to design the most effective displays, minimize queuing, and ensure the right staffing levels. And as they are looking for customer patterns through cameras and computer vision, they are doing it with the privacy and security of their customers at the forefront. This is a core design element of connected spaces. Video feeds from cameras are processed locally in the store with no personally identifiable information tracked or stored. Let me hand it over to Alyssa to see how it works. Thanks, Charles. 
Picture this. In this very moment, millions of people across the globe are shopping online. They're heading to a website, and it's easy. They're presented with an optimized experience featuring top products and offers where they're most likely to look. And there's never a queue. Now, compare that to most physical store locations you've walked into. How often did the retailer adapt and adjust to the customers in the store? Say by opening more checkout queues, optimizing the design of the store, or sending someone to help you exactly when you needed it. I would bet less frequently than you'd like, right? But why? Well, it's simple. Unlike with the online experience, the retailer simply does not have a scalable way to understand the in-store customer behavior that can drive these types of optimized customer experiences. But it's 2022. Isn't it time we fix that? Marks and Spencer thought so. As a forward-looking, successful British retailer with 15,000 stores globally, they wanted to do exactly that. They began partnering with Microsoft as we developed our Dynamics 365 Connected Spaces solution. Over the years, they've not just used, but also pushed the solution to the next level. Let's take a look at what they've achieved. Marks and Spencer wanted to know peak visiting hours, checkout queue length and time in the queue, customer engagement with displays and promotions, and how well those displays are performing. With Connected Spaces, they have answers to every single one of those questions, and they can use that information to deliver a great in-store customer experience. So how does it work? Connected Spaces has been built from the ground up with customer privacy, security, and convenience at the heart. Let's start with convenience. Connected Spaces uses the cameras Marks & Spencer already has. There is no need for expensive, new, or specialized cameras. It's just a matter of connecting their existing cameras to an Azure Stack Edge gateway, and they're ready to go. It's very, very simple. With the store's cameras connected, we then choose one of the built-in skills. Each skill will help Marks & Spencer understand a specific type of in-store behavior. They follow a simple step-by-step -step configuration wizard. This part of the process is fast and easy, so Marks & Spencer will be generating insights in no time. Next, let's talk about customer privacy. This is arguably Marks & Spencer's top priority. For both Marks & Spencer and Microsoft, respecting the anonymity of their customers is an absolute non-negotiable. With the skills set up, Connected Spaces uses Vision AI to process and analyze the in-store video streams. The customer interactions captured on the in-store cameras are processed on the edge, meaning they're processed locally in the store. Vision AI recognizes the difference between people and other objects in the video feed, and importantly, it has no need to store the video feeds. No footage of customers ever needs to leave the store. Connected Spaces simply analyzes the video streams, creates anonymous insights, and shares those with store managers who can review them wherever and whenever they want. Marks & Spencer can be confident that their customer privacy is deeply respected. Let's see the rich analytics we've now unlocked. First, store managers know exactly what's happening with customer traffic. They have access to concrete insights that help them with their staff and labor planning. When is there the most footfall? When are the queues the longest? When should we open more or less registers? When is the best time to assign restocking tasks that may otherwise impact the customer experience in high traffic areas? Shifts in staffing can now be planned according to real data and real patterns in the store, rather than guesswork, or worse, in reaction to a bad customer feedback or long queues. As a customer walks into the store, Marks & Spencer have anticipated how to staff the store to help provide customers an optimized shopping experience. Additionally, store and engagement managers can immediately see the impact of advertisements and other marketing campaigns on the number of customers visiting that area of the store or on the performance of certain products. 
Is that wine of the month promotion really driving more people to the wine area? What actions do or don't have an impact? Thanks to their efforts, Marks and Spencer have bridged the data they have from the digital and physical worlds. Combining the behavioral data generated through connected spaces and the digital data from the point of sales, advertisement, and marketing systems, they've been able to gain a true understanding of the effectiveness of their campaigns. This helps them understand what customers are excited about, what they want to see more of, how to optimize advertising spend, how to optimize store placement, and ultimately improve ROI. What's more is thanks to Power BI and Microsoft Teams, this information is always available at the fingertips of the store and engagement managers. These insights ensure they're focusing their intention where it counts, on what their customers want. We've seen how Marks & Spencer can accurately predict the needs of their customer. But despite the best insights, practices, and planning, there will always be those exceptional days where queues or foot traffic doesn't go as expected. On those surprisingly busy days, Connected Spaces acts as the store manager's loyal assistant, coming to the rescue at their time of need by monitoring conditions like queue length or time at a display. Connected spaces can trigger immediate actions and notifications. The integration with Power Platform and Power Automate ensures Marks & Spencer has the flexibility to automate the most important actions to support them in the moment, when it counts. This could be a simple Teams notification to the store manager when a certain queue length has been reached. Or it could be a more advanced process, like leveraging staffing and expertise information held in teams and automatically notifying and dispatching a wine specialist to the wine area where customers are spending more time there than usual and could use assistance. Altogether, Connected Spaces gives Marks & Spencer the opportunity to anticipate customer needs, making in-store shopping feel easy, fast, and considered, just like online. Back to you, Charles. Thanks, Alyssa. Alongside the finished Dynamics 365 applications, the Power Platform provides the world's leading low-code platform. You can quickly build solutions when there is no app for that. Microsoft Power Platform includes Power BI for data reporting and analytics, Power Apps for creating web and mobile applications, Power Automate for workflow and RPA, and Power Virtual Agents for conversational experiences. And because it is low code, the Power Platform empowers everybody in the organization to be a developer. Your whole company can now participate in creating digital solutions. And one of my favorite examples is Lauren Taylor, who is the principal at Manitow Park Elementary, part of the Tacoma School District right here in Washington. Lauren found and taught herself how to use Power Apps and built an app to improve the reading assessment process for students and educators. This app is now being used across the entire school system. Lauren is also using Power Automate to automate manual processes, giving her and her teachers more time to spend with their students. Let's hear, Let's hear from her. My name is Lauren Taylor. I am the principal at Manitou Park Elementary. Last year, I was the assistant principal. And during that time, I came across Power Apps. The very first app that I created was our reading app. That's really what sparked kind of a lot of the ingenuity and in realizing, okay, I can use this for lots of different systems. With COVID, this school year is one like no other. Teachers needed to submit their schedules for working in the building so that we could all follow health department guidelines. And so one suggestion that we were given was a Word document that teachers fill out and then they would email to the principal. I saw so many emails in my inbox, it almost terrified me. I was looking on the Office 365 homepage and I clicked on Power Automate and I thought, oh, this, this automates things. Creating the approval flow in Power Automate has saved us time. Success for us is even in a pandemic, starting with remote learning, our babies are going to learn. There's going to be student growth. The principal role is kind of a catch-all. Anything that needs to be done, you get in there and you do it. I'm often asked, do you consider yourself a developer? And I always say, no, I'm an educator. 
however, I am developing apps. I will leave it at that. <laughs> Such a great story that shows how everyone can use the Power Platform to have an immediate impact. Now, Ryan, Stephen, and Will are going to show us what's new in the Power Platform. Thank you, Charles. Today, we're going to talk about Hearing Australia. This is an organization that is the largest provider of government-funded hearing services in the entire country. And they have a specialty focused on Aboriginal communities uh, and early childhood interventions, uh, where unfortunately uh, children are at a particularly high incidence of risk for, for early childhood hearing loss um, and disease. Uh, but early intervention makes all the difference. Being able to, to, to work with a child early on, detect and treat, um, can make a massive difference in long-term outcomes and quality of life life for this really critical population. Um, and, and, and the challenge here is being able to do it at scale. Uh, 147 locations across Australia, individual communities that have very specific needs and, and cultural norms to be sensitive to, a massive force of audiologists, many of them volunteers, a huge, huge challenge when it comes to logistics and information management, or at least it was. Until Jackie Peck, who herself trained an uh, audiologist with a lot of experience working on that front line, found Power Platform. And Jackie, first on her own and then working together with the IT team at Hearing Australia, was able to use Power Platform to completely transform uh, this business process and experience and, and really start to improve how much time frontline audiologists are able to spend with patients. Let's take a look at how they did it. Now, the first and most important part of this experience is the audiologists themselves uh, working in the field and, and, and getting ready to go visit a new community, getting all the background information. Who am I going to go visit? What do I need to be aware of? Where do I need to go? Uh, what do I need to be sensitive to while I'm there? That used to be an incredibly difficult uh, a pile of information to impart to every single person in this vast network. Um, think about phone calls and, and manual research or, or just winging it on your own. But now, today, all of that is packed into a modern and beautiful power app. Um, and in fact, with the capability that's now available in, in this release wave to wrap a power app as if it were any other native mobile app, this experience feels consumer grade. Um, it's just like I, I'm interacting with any other app on my phone. Um, I pop it up from my home screen here, it tells me exactly where I need to go, what I need to be aware of, what I need to be thinking about. Um, all of that very scannable uh, with my thumb as I'm, as I'm getting ready. Um, to really it cuts down on the time spent in pre-work, and so I can spend a lot more time with patients. Now, of course, all of that is possible because of a lot going on in the background, and particularly a lot of the innovation that Jackie and her team have brought to the back office experience with Power Apps as well. Uh, what we're looking at here is, is a modern Power App built by this team that combines the best of, of the Power Apps canvas and custom experiences like this one here to get a bird's eye view of every community that Hearing Australia serves uh, with the real power of, of what can be modeled over Microsoft Dataverse. Um, and, and here we're seeing now the, the modern grid experience um, that, uh, that is, is, is optional in this wave for, for makers to turn on um, that allows me to, to really bring a lot of this data to life, um, to be able to visualize these tags and, and controls, but also to be able to edit that information right in line uh, without even having to, to drill into a record. Uh, really high productivity experience. Um, speaking of, of high productivity, uh, also new in this wave is the ability to really personalize how I work with this data and these views. Uh, the ability to come in here and, and set this filter um, and, then, and, then, and then be able to save that view as something that I can return to and personalize how those views show up. Be able to hide the things that are less relevant to me as a user User, even share a view with a colleague that might be helpful to them as well and make sure that they have the right permissions to use it on the other side. Um, all of these are, are really about polishing the experience of a modern power app for, for ultimate high productivity in a situation like this and, and many, many others. Uh, but here's the impressive thing. Uh, it's not just that software like this is possible to, to build and, and, and exist. It's that for, for an organization like Hearing Australia, Power Platform made it practical for the first time ever. See, this project, it didn't start on, on the backlog of a software developer. It started with Jackie, somebody who really knew what it takes to make uh, somebody like her more productive. Um, and Jackie started with Dataverse. 
Now, a lot of people out there might think, Dataverse, hey, that, that's this really uh, sophisticated database that runs under all of, of Microsoft's uh, most advanced business applications. Is that really something that a citizen developer, somebody without tech experience, can, can walk up to and become productive with? Um, well, with, with all the updates rolling out in this release wave, it has never been easier to get started on that powerful backend. Um, and, le and let's actually drill in a little bit and see some examples of how we're helping people like Jackie become incredibly productive uh, on a powerful planet scale data platform in Microsoft Dataverse. Uh, for one, uh, now in the maker experience of, of any environment, uh, a maker like Jackie will notice that she's not alone. Um, in fact, she can see who else can work in this environment, who's the administrator of it and who are other makers in the environment, who can she reach out to for help and collaborate with as she's building things in, in real time. Um, and, and again, as she drills in to start to work with Dataverse data, um, you'll notice that this experience of, of working with this powerful backend has been completely reimagined and, and made, uh, frankly, a lot friendlier than, than any database administrator has ever used a tool in the past. Um, in fact, you notice it looks a lot like an approachable spreadsheet or, or other simple list. Um, but under the hood of this table is a lot of power. Um, I can add a, a column right in line. Um, and under the hood, I'm, I'm using these strongly typed concepts and, and stamping out schema in this, in this planet scale uh, backend. But, but at the surface, I feel like I'm just adding a column to a table. Um, I can give it some, some choices. I can give it some parameters. And I can even start adding data to it right in line, um, uh, right in this experience, like I'd put data into a spreadsheet. Uh, very familiar to users like Jackie, very powerful under the hood. Um, and, and we're just getting started. Um, because it's not just about modeling data in a table, it's also about really building powerful applications with it. Um, and now with the modern app designer becoming generally available in this release wave, uh, users like Jackie can, in a single click, start to automatically generate a robust business app right over all of that data. Um, in fact, all the stuff that we saw before, all the, the column filtering and sorting and editing and personalization and everything else that comes with this app, uh, just automatically generated out of the box. Jackie didn't have to build any of it. Uh, not any additional lines of code required to get this basic but powerful experience up and running. Um, and as a maker, I can add data to it as well. In fact, let's go in and add a table of uh, volunteers to this app. And again, all the right things happen. All the relationships are created, the navigation works, um, and, uh, and it's really, really quick to start to get to the experience that I want. Um, of course, the full power of the Power Apps Canvas is also just a click away. And when I really want to build those custom experiences, um, I can do that as well. Uh, but in an organization like Hearing Australia, which uh, you know it doesn't doesn't leave Jackie to, to do this on her own, but actually supports her with technical resources, pre-building advanced components and making them available throughout the organization, even building a custom experience is uh, really just an, an, an issue of drag and drop and putting together these rich components. Um, and let's put that map control right to, right where we want it, and and let's uh, place that pre-built component for viewing the details of a community right here on the on the side, um, and really quickly we can start to scaffold out just this beautiful experience that's high productivity for our users. Um, and we can go further than that too. Uh, also new in this release wave, the entire Power Automate experience now available right inside the Canvas Studio without even leaving. Um, so we can do something like put a button on the Canvas that will on demand send a push notification update to the right people when we've updated information about a particular community. Um, and now I've got that entire capability of Power Automate uh, right at my fingertips. Tips. In fact, we can we can browse all of the templates here uh, without even leaving, and even drill into all the gory details of setting up and wiring this automation. Um, all right here at PowerApps.com. All right here in uh, in the modern design studio, um, and and that's really the big theme here. It's all coming together: <laughs> the power of Dataverse, uh, the components modeled over it, the power of the blank canvas, uh, the endless capability for logic with Power Automate, all together under one roof. Uh, but that's not all that's together here. Um, it's it's also people, uh, the ability to actually collaborate in real time, uh, and, and particularly to interact through commenting with other makers and users who are also working on this app, um, is also becoming generally available in this release wave. Um, so as somebody like Jackie who's working on these components and might need to reach out to somebody in my team for help, um, now I can do that 
just like I would leaving a comment on a PowerPoint presentation. In fact, it's exactly the same experience and controls. Um, I can at mention a collaborator here. I can get uh, you know that conversation happening in real time and 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 the back and forth flowing. Um, and and I really feel like I'm part of a team. Uh, and, and that really is the big innovation here. It's not just the technology. It's the people coming together to solve a problem and bringing their own expertise, whether that's in making the life of an audiologist better or, or building production-grade business software. Bringing those two sets of expertise into the same interface is what's transforming business for Hearing Australia and can transform business for, for thousands and thousands of other companies, including yours, as well. Uh, we can't wait to see what you do with that. But in the meantime, we're going to hand it over to Stephen to take us even further on Power Automate. Over to you, Stephen. Thanks, Ryan. T-Mobile and Sprint merged in 2020. As a result, they must bring together all of the various systems that they have. Unfortunately, a lot of the systems that Sprint has are legacy systems that don't have easy access to APIs. To solve this challenge, people at T-Mobile are using robotic process automation to work with these legacy applications. Brian Hodel of T-Mobile has been using Power Automate as the way to take data from T-Mobile and make it available in those Sprint legacy systems. Today, I'll be acting as Brian so we can see how he's set up these processes. I can start in Windows 11 by just going to the Start menu and searching for Power Automate. This is possible because Power Automate is now included as a part of Windows 11. When I get started with Power Automate, I have several simple examples that I could use as my starting point for my automation. For this scenario, I'll build a custom flow that will reflect new initiatives inside of the Sprint systems. This is Power Automate for Desktop Designer. One of the new things that Power Automate has is a single unified recorder that will allow me to record whatever application I'm using. I can hit record, and as soon as I do that, Power Automate will keep track of every action that I do, no matter what app I use, be it a Windows app, something written in Java, or in this case, a web app. Let's see the manual steps I'd run to create that new initiative. As I work, Power Automate remembers and recognizes the elements that I use and the exact data that I type in. This works for anything on the page, such as text boxes or dropdowns. I have recorded all of the steps that I would manually filled in for the process. With this point and click designer, I can now edit this flow. For example, I can create a variable for the input instead of repeating the exact same text that I entered. All I need to do is open the action and select that variable. Now that Power Automate has learned about this process, I can test it out by clicking run. First, it asks me to fill in the variable, and then it's off to the races. Look, I'm not touching the keyboard. See how much faster the process runs compared to when I was typing directly. This is just one example of how Brian was able to take a task that was previously manual and time consuming and automate it with Power Automate. Just like with any other company, not only does Sprint have legacy web applications, but they also have legacy paper processes. Specifically, they have scanned forms that they would like to get information from, like this one here. So next what I'll do is use AI Builder to pull information from a form and then send it to the modern T-Mobile system. This example is a statement of work, or SOW. First, I'm telling AI Builder the exact info that I want to get from this paper form. Sprint has fields like supplier name, date, and the contract ID. Once I've taught it the form data it needs, I can upload just five sample documents. It's that easy. With just these five files, AI Builder has all the information it needs to pull the data from these paper forms. Now I'll indicate on these documents where that data is showing up. The first field was that supplier name. I can click right on the field. Then there is the effective date and the contract master ID. This document is completely freeform and unstructured, a completely new capability for AI Builder. Once I've identified the data on one form, I can check on the other documents that I've uploaded. Another new feature is I can see the details about the accuracy of the AI. Not just the overall performance, but even information about each field. With this information, I could add other examples to make this process even more reliable. The final step is to select what type of flow I want to run that processes this information. 
With these built-in templates, it's just a few steps to fill in to get the info from the SOW and save it to the appropriate T-Mobile system. Once Brian has set up his flows, of course he needs to be able to monitor and understand what's going on in case something goes wrong so he can go in and fix it. Power Automate now comes with analytics that span across all of the environments I have access to. I can come in and see activity across my organization, such as when the flows were created or when they last ran. For this example, I want to check if the flows are all successful, but I can see here that one of the flows is accounting for a lot of failures. This particular flow is one of those flows that I've created and I can see it's mostly succeeding, but yesterday there were a few runs that didn't work. The most requested feature from you, our customers, is the ability to come in, select all the flow runs that didn't work, and just click resubmit. As soon as I do it, these flows will retry with the latest configuration, and I can see them succeeding. By automating all of the manual processes that connect Sprint and T-Mobile, Brian's team has been able to process 11 times more requests at 12 times the speed. And this has reduced human error to 0% because all of these processes are now automated. This frees up people to work on more strategic projects and has hugely improved job satisfaction inside of Sprint and T-Mobile since the acquisition. This was just one example. There are thousands of businesses globally automating and transforming their business processes to be more productive. And you can get started today at PowerAutomate.com. Now, let me hand it off to Will, who's going to show you what's new in Power BI. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Power BI's mission is to help empower a new class of data-first companies. That means helping every individual and every team to use data to support every decision, and to do it at a scale that supports the smallest to the largest organizations. We have a whole raft of exciting new capabilities and features coming to Power BI in this release wave, and I'm glad to have the opportunity to share a few of those with you. One of the customers we've worked with recently is Fairlife. Founded in 2012, Fairlife is a dairy company focused on creating better-for-you products through the power of dairy nutrition. They are originally owned by a co-op of dairy farmers, and they've grown and launched numerous products and is now owned by the Coca-Cola company. Fairlife strives to make products that are better for people, for animals, and for the planet, and is harnessing the power of data to achieve that mission. Austin Bristow, senior manager of business intelligence, previously worked as a sales manager at Fairlife working with local Coca-Cola bottlers and their sales data. He first used Power BI to quickly create an integrated process for his 11 bottlers and distributors in just a couple of weeks. And now answers that previously took seven hours to get are accessible almost instantly. Since then, the Fairlife data model that Austin manages has grown to cover supply chain and sales information, and they're adding finance, sustainability, people, and HR reporting to their model. And that's a common trend across the industry. Data is coming from everywhere, and customers need to integrate it quickly. With a line of business apps generating more digitally born data than ever before. Fairlife are just the same. Let's look at what they're doing. They use Dynamics 365 to manage inventory and other business processes, and users can get instant insights in Power BI. From any table of data in any model-driven application, I can click Visualize this view in just one click. This ability won't just show up in Dynamics, you'll see it on SharePoint lists, Microsoft Forms, Project, and many more places. And Power BI uses AI to find the columns in your data with interesting distributions. And it's found that some of these products have significantly higher open orders, particularly in this nutrition plan category. Now, if I was interested in shipments or how we're performing by territory, I can swap those fields in and out. I can also see a textual summary that Power BI has created about the insights found in this data. And because it's Power BI, all of these charts are interactive and can cross-highlight or cross-filter each other to help me understand how that data breaks down. This all got built on the fly because of the rich Dataverse connection we have. It already understands where the data is, how it's connected, how it's related, so Fairlife's employees can get on with looking for insights without worrying about plumbing all of this together. That gives Fairlife business users a great starting point, but as they progress from these automatically generated reports into Power BI Desktop, it needs to be easy for them to get started. So we're here in Power BI Desktop, and you'll see it's instantly familiar for anybody who's used Office applications like Outlook, Excel, or PowerPoint. 
The new formatting pane makes it easy for new users to get skilled up, make changes to the look and feel of their visuals, and to start finding insights or building beautiful reports. Austin built this report to help senior leadership get a high-level overview of how the business is performing, and one of the key requirements was understanding how shipments are going versus the annual plan. And a really tricky thing to encode in that data visualization is uncertainty or error. In Fairlife's case, there are many places this is useful, comparing performance to competitors in a given time period or showing historical forecast accuracy from a production or planning point of view. In this case, not all of these open orders might close in a particular month. And we can turn on error bars for these open orders and see what happens if all of our orders close versus only half of them. So it's easier to see the nuances in this data and make more informed decisions based on that. And that's the sort of thing that end users expect. They want rich app-like experiences from their BI solutions. So we're giving creators more flexibility to make solutions work for them. Another example is this slicer that uses a new feature called report parameters that means authors can give users choices to change between looking here at inventory or profit or other measures without having to write complex calculations or manage lots of bookmarks. Here we can swap or analyze shipped products versus the plan versus variance with just one click. Now to build these, we create a parameter. And now we can drop the fields in here that we want users to be able to select between. So I'll add manager, product category, and territory. Then I need to create a new slicer and bind the field that it created into the visual. So rather than looking here at territory, I'll use that slice by field. And then as an end user, now I can see percentage variance by manager or by category, or look at the shipped units. No end user training required. It's simpler than ever for end users now to do whatever analysis they need to make their data-driven decisions. The BI success story for Fairlife has really been about getting every end user in the business looking at and using data to make their decisions. For example, they review raw material supply versus production versus sales every day to ensure they're accurately planning to beat demand in the marketplace. This is inherently a very collaborative process, and Microsoft Teams has been the place where much of this happens. Production sites have had great organic adoption, increasing communication throughout the plants. And when those conversations revolve around data, Power BI brings insights right into Teams. So I have all my chat here, and over on the left-hand side, I have the Power BI app. This lets me get access to all my Power BI content without moving away from the context of Teams. I see recommended content and all my recent items with access right into these reports. And I can see on this shipments reports that one of the managers, Peyton, isn't on track to hit his plan for shipments. Right from the report, I could leave comments, or I could start a chat in Teams right from here. I put the name of the person that I want to send to and can add a message. I started that collaborative activity and never left the context of Teams and the report. And it's not just Teams. We're integrating all over the Office platform. For example, on office.com, you'll be able to create Power BI reports right here on the Create page. And we have the Power BI application too, just one click away without going from the context of office.com. Now, lots of Fairlife's employees spend their time in Outlook, and they still need access to data. So we're integrating Power BI in there as well. Just as before, the app will show up on the left-hand side, but I can do more. I don't need to go there if I know what I'm looking for. From within an email, I can say, hey, I know the report that I want to share and search for it from in here. It will show me recently used reports, so I can choose the one and drop my shipments report right here into the email. Now, when Alex gets this email, he can open it here in context, in Outlook, or even subscribe directly to the email so it will get delivered to him every day right into his inbox. So that's three places, Teams, Office.com, and Outlook where anyone in a company can get access to the data from the tools they use every day to collaborate and communicate and make data-driven decisions. The other part of rolling out a successful Power BI implementation like Fairlife have done is making sure that everyone can discover the data they need. I'm in the Power BI service here, and the Power BI Data Hub is helping Fairlife's employees as it's a one-stop shop for discovering all of their data. First and foremost, it gives me recommendations on data sets I might need, either ones that I've used recently or ones that my colleagues use based on information from the Office Graph. 
I can see that these ones beneath are certified or promoted data sets. That means I know that they are trustworthy, well-managed sources of data for me to use. And coming in this release wave, I can even discover data sources I don't yet have access to if the owner has decided to let me see them. I can request permission if I want to get access to the underlying data. And by default, it would start an approval process with the dataset owner. But here, Fairlife have customized a set of instructions that they want their employees to follow. They need to provide justification, take some training, and then they'll be given access. When I click into this, Power BI shows some information about the data set. There's a description. It tells me when the data was last refreshed. I can even see the tables and columns available within it. No more guessing as to what data is contained here. Users can see what's there without having to go and build a report on top of it first. At the bottom, I can see the reports that have already been created on top of this data set. And that might save me a step if other people have already built the analysis I'm looking for. I can see how many viewers and views there have been, too. This one at the bottom looks like lots of folks are using it, so that might be a great place for me to start. I can create a copy of the report to build from if I want to, customize it, or build on it further. Another way that Power BI saves me time is that the dataset owner can create template reports that give me a starting point, perhaps with a page that explains what the data shows, or with some common filters or visuals that are often used against this data. I can even have Power BI automatically generate a report against this data, just as we saw earlier against the table in Dynamics. And that really helps users discover the data sources that are available to them, get started building their own reports, and ultimately find insights to help them make decisions. Let's recap. Coming in this release wave, you'll see the ability for Power BI to automatically create reports from Dynamics, Project, SharePoint, and more. Basically, anywhere you see tables of data to help you find insights and get started quickly. And when you build reports, you'll see error bars and report parameters and much more to create rich, data-driven applications to help your end users find their own insights. And to help empower everyone across your whole organization, we're bringing data deeply into Microsoft Teams, the Office Hub, and Outlook to bring data and insight to the communication and collaboration tools where you and your colleagues spend their time. And finally, to help everybody find the data they need, the Power BI Data Hub helps you discover, access, and build on top of trusted, accurate data to make the right data-driven decisions for your business. And that's just a taste of some of the new capabilities. We have so much more coming over the next six months. Over to you, Charles. Thanks, Will. Well, that is it. What you saw was just a sampling of the innovation in this latest release. And you can read more about these features in our release plans. And through the next few months, we're going to have more deep dive sessions and events to cover some of the most exciting capabilities in this release wave. Thank you again for joining us and see you at the next event.